have allowed the government to declare a war on drugs because the majority of Americans haven't known any better and they haven't really understood that all of this is a massive deception. It's a massive profit scheme. We must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. They can't even keep drugs out of, out of the prison system. You know, they have guys in prison that OD and, and, and things of that nature, even in the home. What, what's happening here in America is that our government is inadvertently supplying the hard drugs to the people in this country, then they're putting the people who use them in this country in jail. Fixated on terror, most Americans have forgotten they are fighting another war. Watch a nigga say, so a eyeball back to your mama's Sunday cry, cry. But from its inception, the drug war has become the longest, most costly and destructive war in American history. The drug war is a perfect continuing example of why we will never win the war on terrorism. Because it captures the ineffectiveness of the U.S. government and it captures the fact that it's being used against poor people and not against the people who benefit most from drugs, which are the bankers that launder the money. Uh, we don't send nicotine addicts to jail and we don't send alcoholics to jail. We shouldn't send drug addicts to jail. Oh my God! Do you mean they'll legalize marijuana and you can buy heroin at 7-Eleven? People have to realize that most of our history, we didn't have federal laws against the use of drugs. Fifty billion dollars a year at the local, state, national level, clogging our courts year after year. So, I mean, people fighting the drug war need to articulate that what we're after is not blanket legalization, but decriminalization. Why in the world do we have millions of innocent young people wasting away in prison when the big people who are committing these huge atrocious crimes are getting away every day my own personal opinion i think the jail cell is better than the rehab this uh, year is the 30th anniversary of the drug enforcement agency it was created by richard nixon in 1973 and richard nixon is really the creator of the drug of uh, this drug war 19 from 1971 with every passing day of this drug war the battle line seems to be getting harder and harder to see and yet it's almost impossible to believe that the same rules apply to everyone of a war on drugs. So what we attempted to do was articulate a very different concept, which was uh, viewing the drug issue as a cancer affecting American community. So you use the wrong word. You said war. If this is a war, we would have solved the war and won the war. This is the greatest country in the world. When we go to win a war, we win it. We, we got more drugs today we, than we did 10 years ago, and that's got to tell you that, that there is something bigger that's not being shown. In 1972, when Richard Nixon started the war on drugs, the federal budget allocation was $101 million. Uh, going into fiscal year 2000, the federal budget allocation was $20 billion. Yet there were more drugs in the country in 2000. They were of better quality and they were less expensive than they were in 1972. What's wrong with that picture? We arrested 14 people targeting high schools selling heroin. We almost totally eliminated the production of coca. The drug warriors love to talk about illegal drugs, but what drives the motives to legalize certain harmful and equally addictive substances? Money. Money controls this whole movement. You have a group called the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. Well, first of all, of course, we don't have a drug-free America, never have, never will. But who are the funders? Who are the main funders, source of funding for the Partnership for a Drug-Free America, of all things, the tobacco industry and the alcohol industry? They are drugs. They are mind-altering, sometimes addicting drug, drug-free America indeed. But why do they do that? They spend huge money 
to reinforce the distinction between legal drugs on the one hand and illegal drugs on the other.